It is an alarming reality. 32 million adults can't read in the U.S. KCTV 5's Jessica Reyes explains how a Kansas City program is bridging the gap all new at 5. Leave to Read started with mentors reading to children in a single classroom. Now the program is in more than 50 classrooms, including here Longfellow Elementary. But as the program grows, so do their challenges. The growth is great, but we've sort of outgrown um, you know, our funding to an extent. The program started in 2011 when Jean Rundle had a vision to work with at-risk kids who struggled to read at grade level. Two years later, Jean passed away. Since then, her husband and volunteers have helped carry on Jean's dream. Find more genes, right, because uh, it was sort of her vision, but she can't be everywhere. And so find more people like her that were willing to spend the time to help these kids learn to read. Currently, there are 1,100 volunteers. Once a week, they meet with kids for a half hour and they read together. Their focus, children from kindergarten to third grade. If you get to grade, you know, third grade and you can't read at grade level, it starts to impact your ability as a student um, you know, to actually learn different subjects. And that can lead to higher dropout rates and poverty. That's why they're trying to add 15 more classrooms, but don't have the funds to get them running. They hope by fundraising, they can provide more than 300 students with reading mentors. Justin, who's been volunteering for years, says this program is crucial for the community. It really sort of impacts the way someone's, uh, someone's life can turn out down the road. And the long-term goal is to have 5,000 reading mentors by 2020. That's one mentor for each student up to third grade. In Kansas City, I'm Jessica Reyes, KCTV 5 News.